What did the elephant say to the naked man? How do you breathe through that tiny thing? Today, I'm going to recap a 2008 action thriller film called The Shepherd. The film opens in Kabul, Afghanistan. American soldiers, led by Sergeant Benjamin Miners, prepare their weapons. They're looking for a top terrorist leader. They discover the terrorist's hiding spot. Myers defeats a terrorist using his combat abilities. Following Karp's directions, they go to another location and eliminate the terrorists there. Afterwards, Myers and his squad enter Karp's room and encounter some women. They ask them about Jamal Aladdin but don't get any information. Frustrated, Myers takes drastic measures. One woman is made to stand, revealing she's strapped with a bomb. Myers snatches the bomb's remote and swiftly gets her out. He's faced with a hard choice. He threatens to detonate the bomb unless they reveal Jamal Aladdin's location. The one eventually indicates a direction and triggers the bomb, causing a massive explosion. Myers and a fellow soldier are shocked by the events. Jumping ahead two years, a former soldier from New Orleans, Jack Rubidoux, arrives in Columbus, New Mexico with his rabbit. Captain Ramona Garcia introduces Jack to the local police because he's the new addition to their homicide division. Captain Ramona discusses a rising concern. There are new criminals in town who might be ex-military professionals like Navy SEALs or Delta Force. Someone unidentified leads them. These mercenaries are well-funded and organized, employed by nearby drug lords. Their connection is a shadowy leader from their past. If this continues, things could escalate. After the briefing, Captain Ramona informs Jack that he's on the team but needs to adapt quickly. She emphasizes that policing here differs from New Orleans. It's about upholding the law or confronting illegal border crossings. Columbus is a tough town, and Jack needs to watch out. He visits Connie's bar and gets a lot of attention. Lexi, the waitress, asks for his drink order and appreciates Jack's remarks. This angers Jed, a patron. Jed confronts Jack, who immediately regrets his words and shoves Jed, causing him to lose balance. In retaliation, Jed's friends attack Jack, but Jack defends himself and leaves with his rabbit. That night, Jack goes to his room and takes a break. The next day, Ramona approaches him, unhappy about what happened at the bar. She tells Jack that if he keeps stirring up trouble, she'll have to replace him with someone else. She then introduced Jack's new partner, Billy Ponnell. Jack apologizes to Ramona, and she walks away. Billy seems friendly towards Jack, and they drive to Billy's house later. At Billy's place, Jack gets introduced to Billy's partner before heading back to his lodging. At night, Jack has bad dreams about his past and chats with his rabbit. The following day, while Jack is checking maps and details about a smuggler, Billy takes him to the border area. Out of nowhere, there's a shootout between smugglers and the police. Jack steps in to protect Billy, and they start chasing the criminals by car. When they see the criminals trying to escape, Jack crashes into their vehicle and grabs one of the bad guys. This criminal has a bomb strapped to him. Jack tells Billy to call the bomb squad. When the bomb experts arrive, they struggle with the device. It explodes, and from a distance, Carp and the smugglers watch the explosion. It turns out these smugglers are a rebel military group run by Benjamin Myers, with Carp as his right-hand man. They've dominated the illegal business around, pushing out big drug lords like Felix Naster and Benito Ortiz. During a police gathering, an FBI agent shares secret info from Quantico. Benjamin Myers is behind the local illegal activities and is expanding them. Each year, over 50,000 individuals cross the border without papers, possibly smuggling drugs. The strategy is to use bomb specialists to check all incoming people since Myers uses hidden C4 explosives. They have to be prepared for any tricks. Myers was once an Afghanistan soldier but now is involved in the drug trade with a wealthy outsider. This situation is problematic. They're unsure about getting new equipment or help from the National Guard. With elections coming up, this issue is pressing and only the cops are on it. After the gathering, a captured smuggler grabs Jack and points a gun at Billy. Jack, using his combat skills, disarms the smuggler, saving Billy. As they continue, they encounter more smugglers. Suddenly, Billy swerves the car, surprising the smugglers. Jack jumps out, chasing them on foot. He manages to catch one, 
but as another aims at him, Jack quickly shoots, taking both down. After all this, Ramona is again frustrated with Jack. A journalist arrives soon after with the town's head. Watching the news, Carp secretly shares Jack's whereabouts with his friend at the bar. That evening at the bar, Jed apologizes to Jack for their earlier disagreement. Lexi, the bartender, serves Jack a drink and shares with the reporters about Jack's role in capturing the smugglers. But Lexi's cheeriness fades when Ramona enters the bar. They both share a drink, and as Ramona continues to drink heavily, Jack decides it's best to escort her out. In another location, Carp informs Myers about an upcoming shipment and their strategy to keep it hidden from the police. On the streets, Jack spots a family, which triggers a memory of a dream where a girl laughs inside a police station and an officer spills something on Jack's usual attire, prompting him to consider changing his outfit. Meanwhile, Myers, Carp, and their crew board a bus carrying contraband. During a routine inspection, a policeman grows suspicious upon noticing a tattoo on one of the smugglers' hands. The officer promptly reports this to the police headquarters. Alerted, Carp instructs Mayers to act. Mayers forcibly removes the bus driver and abandons him. The smugglers brandish their weapons, leading to an intense shootout between them and the cops. Jack and Billy receive a distress call about the bus situation and rush to the scene, narrowing the distance between them and the criminals. However, just as they are about to corner them, Myers spots a police vehicle ahead and swiftly reverses the bus's direction. From a nearby bridge, Jack takes shots at Myers' bus, but Myers manages to evade the gunfire. The bus speeds up and crashes into a wall in the Las Palomas Market District. Jack and Billy run after them, plunging directly into the midst of the firefight. In the market, Jack thinks pursuing the criminals is the best move. Unexpectedly, Mexican officers apprehend Jack from behind. Concurrently, Carp spills everything he knows about Jack. With growing concern about Jack and Billy's whereabouts, they seek assistance from an FBI agent. Elsewhere, Jack finds himself imprisoned. Mexican authorities force Jack to combat another inmate. Everyone is taken aback when Jack overpowers his opponent using martial arts. Back at the town hall, when the town leader inquires about Jack's location, Captain Ramona reveals he is incarcerated in Palomas. However, inside the Palomas jail, some officers unexpectedly ambush Jack. Amidst a memorial service for the casualties from the bus skirmish, Captain Ramona's phone buzzes with a call from Billy, prompting her to swiftly take action. Switching back to Jack, the Palomas officer hands him over to Myers. Myers suspends Jack over a pool of water filled with electrified wires, interrogating him about his true identity. Myers is suspicious that Jack might be more than a mere border patrol officer due to his combat skills, suspecting he might belong to the FBI or another elite force. Despite the threats, Jack insists he's only a border patrol agent. Simultaneously, Billy takes hold of Ramona. Shockingly, it's revealed that Billy is in league with Myers. Myers aims his gun at Ramona to intimidate Jack. Pressured, Jack confesses his true motive behind pursuing Myers. Myers' drugs were responsible for the tragic death of Jack's teenage daughter Cassie a few months ago. Anguished over losing Cassie, who was only 16, Jack is determined to make Myers answer for his actions. In another attempt to frighten Ramona, Myers endangers her uncle, Emil, by tossing him into the electrified water. After imprisoning Jack and Ramona in a chamber, they manage to break out and overcome Billy. Ramona swiftly contacts the Mexican police for backup, and they set off in pursuit of Myers and his crew. During the chase, Ramona suffers injuries in a vehicular collision. Jack confronts Carp, an adept fighter. After a grueling battle, Jack defeats Carp. Isolated, Myers aims to shoot Jack, but Jack quickly tosses an explosive device at him. This device resembles one from an earlier scene in Kabul and detonates, ending Myers. Grateful for his actions, Ramona apologizes to Jack. The Palomas officer also expresses his regret for his previous conduct. Mourning over Emil's fate, Jack learns from Ramona that Emil was her relative and she had recommended him for the job. She mentions that Emil always appeared content and preferred to keep their familial connection private. Understanding her sentiments, they both retreat to his quarters. Jack discovers his pet rabbit is missing prompting a search. 
he confides in Ramona that the rabbit belonged to his late daughter. When Ramona locates the rabbit, she inquires about its name, which is Jack Jack. Jack explains that his daughter found the name amusing. Ramona suggests that Jack should return to New Orleans and begin anew. Pondering her advice, Jack agrees. When Ramona questions him about his spouse, he simply responds with yes. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.